Hello yet again, YouTube. I seem to be doing a buttload of reviews today. No idea why, maybe because I don't have anything I have to do. But um, there was um, somebody who sent me a request to spread some info about something he's doing. Uh, his name was Deg Koth, I think. He wanted me to spread the information that uh, he's sending a preview of his timeline stop motion uh, videos to all of his friends. And uh, I did check this, his stop motion video out, and hate to say it, but his stop motion videos are a lot better than mine. And honestly, you guys should go check him out. He is uh, one of my subscribers, so he should be pretty easy to find. And he wanted me to spread the word. Now on to the review for today. I am going to be reviewing a gem that I never thought would be a gem. Transformers G1 Inferno. It's the reissue. Um, I was at a toy store with my girlfriend. And uh, they had a whole bunch of the Transformers collection toys. But most of them, for some reason, had been broken into and had pieces stolen from them. I wanted to get Prowl, but Prowl was missing a couple of his guns and missiles and stuff, and it obviously been opened and messed with, so I didn't want to get him. So I showed her all of the uh, different robots, and she said, get this one. Looks really cool. And I said, oh, that thing looks like a piece of garbage. I don't think it's cool at all. I was a moron. This thing is awesome, and I'm so happy that she told me to get it. All right. First cool things about it, it is a fire truck. Inferno is a fire truck. Uh, his fire hose can come off and go on. That's not that big of a deal. This, the ladder, can extend like crazy. Let's get a full view of it. I mean, that is pretty awesome. And there's like a little water hose or gun at the top of it. Uh, his transformation is also kind of neat. You take uh, these parts right here, you pull them you pull them out, like so. Um, you know, flip them around. Then you have to slide this back a little, and it comes up and slides forward. The front part of the cab slides forward, and these feet come here. Now, it took me a while to figure out where the rub sign is for this robot, and it is actually hidden inside the cab. Really kind of neat, neat place to put the rub symbol because sometimes the rub symbol, you know, gets in the way of other cool looking parts of the robot. You can also put a pilot there, obviously, a uh, die clone. Um, all right, next part of his transformation is my least favorite part, which are these weird, annoying things. I don't even know what they are. They just, you know, you put them in the holes there. I go next to his head. I don't know what they're for or why they're there other than just for appearance. So there they go. Now you fold this part up and you fold his ladder back all the way back and you have his robot head hidden in this little box here. And you fold it up and you see these little connectors. You connect it to the top of the cab. Now this is kind of really a weird thing. These hooks are really strong and tight. Every time I transform this guy I'm afraid I'm going to break those hooks off because it's hard to put in and it's hard to take out and it's going to make a loud noise. Oh there it goes. And so that kind of scares me sometimes. Uh, one problem is his head seems to tilt back a bit but you can fix that by just pushing that like that. All right, now on to some of his really cool features. His hands, uh, while they have to be attached, are really awesome because you can attach missiles that he can shoot, or you can attach his hands, like so. And he can have both hands, oops, you know, in, or he can have a hand and a missile like he does in the cartoon show. It's really awesome. Uh, oops, drop that. One thing I want to talk about, which is kind of silly, but I absolutely love it, is his gun. 
I love the way this little gun looks. I don't know why, but it's just an awesome little gun. I love the way it looks. It's just cool. And the gun fits in the hand, obviously, and the hand fits in the little missile launcher, so you can shoot his hand that's holding a gun. But it's really good looking. I love the way the stickers work. And he's pretty easy transformation and all around. I'm really glad I got this guy instead of like the prowl with that which had pieces missing and stuff. Also, I told the manager or the lady working there about it. And she's like, I don't know, whatever. Toys missing pieces and whatever. Of course they don't give a discount for that, but Anyways, enough of my ADD little spin-offs there, and well, there he is, G1 Transformers Collection Series Inferno, and really a gem that I thought was going to be a bust. Bye!